It's when time gets to slow down and you get to experience the moment. It just makes you feel more alive than any other thing that I've ever experienced. Hi, my name is Stacy B. London and I race vintage motorcycles. We are at El Mirage Dry Lake Bed in Adelanto, California. So I race a 1967 Aramaki 250 Sprint. I picked out this bike to race uh, because I noticed in the 250 pushrod class, it seemed like that record was a little soft. So I literally need 1.4 miles an hour. <laughs> Locating the parts in time was a real challenge. She's pretty relentless when tracking down parts. And I'd say that she did 90% of the engine assembly herself. She would occasionally call and over and say, uh, can you help me adjust the valves? Kick it, see if it's got compression. Wednesday I came in and the piston was stuck in the head from the parts bike. So we got that out and we were honing it, getting it cleaned, and discovered that that cylinder had a crack in it. By the time she arranged all that, it was really down to the last two days to get ready. It was a lot of trials and tribulations and a big test of just staying focused and not letting things get in your way of reaching the goal. Not only was this week really difficult in finding the parts, I'm the president of a motorcycle club called the Eastside Moto Babes that I founded in 2010. So Thursday, there was a ride out um, from Lucky Wheels Garage. Everybody was having fun, everything was going well. They were almost to the campsite when a horrible, the worst kind of accident could have happened. Losing a sister, Alina Porter, is the worst nightmare. You know, it was a fatal accident. And my heart uh, sank to the pit of my stomach. Um, a girl died on one of our rides. It's been very trying to kind of stay focused and um, enjoy what you love to do. It's always just such an incredible thing just to start making that drive out um, to the lake bed. Then when you finally get on the road and start leaving the city, leaving the chaos behind you, and little by little you're approaching the desert and the landscape begins to change. The same sort of peace comes over you. It just becomes the most perfect, quiet moment. Your bike or your car is in the back um, and you're going racing and you get to see your racing family. You know, today, going through tech, it started up on the first kick and it was just, sounded so good. It's fun being part of and included in something where the person who's invited you is so incredibly passionate and, and wants to break a freaking world record. That's so exciting. When 
I woke up this morning, which was about three o'clock in the morning. I was already starting to think about how to stay calm and how to stay focused and running through the scenarios. Bring the bike down, have your leathers on, get in line, put the helmet on, you know, strap in, put the switch on, start up the bike. I could see that she was having a conversation with the bike, throwing up a couple of prayers, and um, I, I don't, it's choking me up a little. <laughs> I want to, I want to see her, you know, do it. In the beginning, it felt like a really good start. I mean, it didn't even want to stay in first gear very long. All of a sudden it was like, no, no, second. I was just listening to the bike. It was, you know, full throttle. And then I switched to fourth. And I was like, oh, okay, this is gonna be good. It's climbing. And then all of a sudden, it wasn't climbing anymore. I was only like around 65. And then the timing cones came and I was like, oh, that's kind of drag. Okay, well. I pulled around, um, stopped. Seeing her standing next to her bike, and I can tell from her posture, she's concerned, you know, my, my heart goes out to her. It's an absolute process, and it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. So, we're gonna get there. Honestly, I don't even care about winning. I just care about doing it. I really wasn't sure if I was going to be able to race. Um, but then I talked to some important people in my life and they encouraged me to keep going forward. Now that this is over and I've gotten through this part of the journey, um, you know, the next step is like, I'm going to be in person with um, my girls. Buried in the ground. It's made my heart just soar so much to see how it's brought everybody even more together. The response has just been love, 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 love. We're going to all gear up, whoever's on a bike. Um, we're going to put our back foot pegs down for Kalina so that she rides in spirit on the back. Uh, we're going to wrap for at least a minute. Uh, I want you to make as much fucking noise as you can. <laughs> I don't necessarily see it as that I didn't hit the mark. I got to race.